guys, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then hello, my name is Jess. So today's video is going to be a River Island haul and I was recently gifted a few pieces from them which I really love and can't wait to share with you guys. So as you can see, there is kind of a colour palette. We've got a very like black and pink kind of vibe going on with the odd little slice of white in there. But I honestly really love everything I got and it's probably one of my favourite River Island hauls that I've ever done and some of my favourite pieces that I've ever got from there. Minus a white dress which I wear all the time. I'll put a picture on the screen of it here. I can actually see it right now in the corner of my eye but actually let me just show you. So it's this one which is honestly the best thing ever. It's still on my website and there's also another version of it which I'll talk about in a minute but it's got these really gorgeous details on and these really big puff sleeves and it's just the nicest dress ever. I love this so much so definitely one that I will be linking because I wear this so much. But that being said I'm going to jump into the video and share with you what is on the rail. So a couple of these pieces were in a recent IGTV that I did in collaboration with River Island so I styled up a few different outfits for a zoom call with friends because obviously we're in lockdown spending a lot of time on facetime and zoom with my friends at the moment but this is one of the first which a lot of people on instagram seem to really love and i personally cannot get enough of i wish i had an occasion to wear it too because it's just beautiful if anything actually i might wear this in a couple of weeks because we're having like a graduation party for my sister because she missed her graduation so you know it might be something I wear for that. But this is like a two-parter. So it's the blazer and the little shorts, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. So the blazer and the short sets come in a few different colours. I think there's like a really light grey. There's potentially a blue. I know there's a yellow. There's like a few different ones. But I wanted the kind of peachy coral colour because don't ask me why. I'm not really a colourful person. But this one just really spoke to me and I really liked it. So I got it. It is £55 for the blazer and this is a size 8. So it's got these little ruffle sleeves, obviously the classic blazer style and it's actually a tie one which personally I really like. I think this would look great with so many different outfits and this is the kind of thing that even into like party season later in the year I would 100% bring out with like a little dress underneath or whatever it might be because it's just such a cute style and thinking about it now I would even wear this over like a wrap dress just so you can see the little like frill at the bottom or something. But it's really really cute. And it looks amazing as a suit or a separate, obviously depending on what you wanted to wear with what. So the shorts are these, which were, how much were the shorts? Just so you get an idea of the whole suit. £26, which is super affordable. And these are just like a really nice kind of frill detail with the elasticated back. And they're a really gorgeous like satiny fabric, really shiny and silky and just like a lot more expensive looking than they are. Like I think these look really like luxurious and really... Just, you know when you just put something on and you just feel like you look a million dollars? I feel like that's what I feel like when I put this on and it's such a beautiful set. But again, you could wear these as separates. I would personally wear these with a little t-shirt and some trainers or something on an everyday basis, but you could wear it as a full set. And like I said, it does come in a few different colours, but personally, I just really love the peach. I think it's a gorgeous colour and... I don't know what it is, like I genuinely don't really wear colour, but that just really spoke to me and I couldn't not have it. <laughs> then next up we have this dress which also comes in I believe blue and pink. There's a couple of different colours but I just chose the black because I think it's really classic and it's something that I'll get a lot of wear out of. So I'm going to put a picture on the screen here of what the model looks like wearing it because it looks a lot more kind of easy to see what it looks like on there rather than on the hanger because I think where it's an off the shoulder number you and I can't show you like the whole thing it's easier for me to show you the model image where she looks incredible and I'll also show you a cutaway in a sec but it's so stunning looks a lot better off the hanger I have to admit so it's got this really gorgeous off the shoulder detailing with the little ruffled hems and it's a really nice like tiered midi style which I thought was so beautiful for just summer in general but also just I would I mean, okay, summer dresses I would wear pretty much all year round, but personally, I find that they are so nice when they're like really big and floaty and you can just put on some cute little sandals and a nice bag and head to the beach or a barbecue. And it's just a really gorgeous style. And obviously in the cutaway, you can see it a lot better. You can see the kind of shape of it, the movement. I got this one in a size eight and it was only 38 pounds, which is such a good price for a really timeless piece like this because dresses like this don't go out of style they last and they last and they last and they're the kind of thing that I would wear literally every single day and there's so many different ways to style them to make them just look so different so I'm actually going to probably do a styling video of that because I think it'd be really interesting to see like I find styling videos really help me so I know they must really help you guys as well because sometimes I'll have pieces in my wardrobe and it's not until I do a styling video that I'm like wow there's so many different ways I can wear this that I maybe hadn't thought about and it gives me so many different like options and stuff which 
which I think is always, I mean, it's the whole point of a styling video, but it also helps me as well. So yeah, then we have this dress, which is another one to add to my ever growing white dress collection. I own so many white mini dresses. It is honestly getting beyond a joke now. There's like six or seven in my wardrobe, but this one was really, really cute and I couldn't resist because it's slightly different. So you've got the little buttons down the front and this really nice kind of brodery style detailing. You've got the little frill collar and you've got the little frill cuffs as well. And it's actually got an elasticated waist with the kind of tiered detailing. And I just thought this was really sweet because it is a dress that you could really dress up or down. And it's the kind of thing that I would wear a lot during the summer if I'm going to like barbecues or if I'm going to like a friend's house, or you could even wear this to like a more kind of formal family event, depending like depending on the formalness of the family event. Like I would wear this if we were having like a nice family dinner party or something with like some little espadrilles because I think summer the rules kind of relax a little bit you don't have to go like full-on heels but I mean you could like I could easily pair it with like some little heels like these or I could chuck it on with for example some mules like these which are actually River Island that I showed in a haul recently but it's just a very versatile kind of style this one is 40 pounds and I think it is a really justifiable price because it is a beautiful dress and again, something that you could really easily wear onto like the beach and stuff as well with some little sandals. And it is double lined, which is very important for a white dress to note. Then we have a little play suit, which this comes in yellow. And I was so torn between whether to get the yellow or whether to get the black because the yellow was so nice, but I knew that I wouldn't get as much wear out of it. So I went for the black one and it's an honestly adorable style. So you've got the kind of oversized shoulders detailing here, which is just like an extra piece of fabric. You've got the cropped sleeves, which have got like a shirt kind of style. You've got the crossover front. You've got the kind of, this waist is like, it's almost like a gathered elastic style waist with the little ties on the side. And then obviously the little short detailing there as well. And I've just never seen a play suit like it, which is why I wanted it because I think it's really cute. Again, super easy to style up or down because it's the kind of thing that you could put little heels with or you could put espadrilles or boots. If I was going into like the autumn months where it's not too chilly, I'd probably chuck on an oversized blazer and some boots and that would be a really cute outfit as well. This one, again, I got in a size eight and it was £42. So very true to River Island pricing, but still a really gorgeous style nonetheless. Oh, I didn't realise it's got an open back. I've just discovered that. It's got an open back. How lovely. Didn't know that. <laughs> then next up, we have the final clothing item, which is this little dress, which is very similar to the one that I just showed you in white, but this one actually comes in a really gorgeous white as well. And it's got like this really cool, like cool embroidery style on it. I'll put it on the screen now so you can see, but I fell in love with this. It just hasn't been in stock in my size for a while, so I haven't got it yet. But this one is the pink version with this really gorgeous kind of rose gold metallic running through. It's got these like puff sleeve styles here with a little detailing on the arm. And again, a really nice kind of tiered floaty number. So it's not tight fitting at all. You've got the simple neck detailing and it's just a really easy dress. Things like this I love because it's not fitted in any way. So you just feel really comfortable in it because it is very like breezy. And it looks great with, again, a multitude of shoes. So this one is again in a size eight and was 65 pounds. So slightly more expensive, but again, something that I will get a lot of wear out of. And I think if you were to invest into it, you'd probably get a lot of wear out of it too. If you do want a styling video, by the way, of anything I ever show in a haul or just generally anywhere, let me know in the comments because I'd be more than happy to do them. I'd rather do styling videos of things that you guys want to see me do styling videos of than just kind of guess. Because I think when I guess what to do a styling video of, it maybe isn't something you want to see and I think it's really important to kind of listen to you guys. And I love kind of hearing what you think of different things. So like, for example, if you wanted one of this shirt, I'll happily do that. Whereas in my head, I might not think that you want that. Do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, so last thing I've got is a bikini and it's actually a two-parter. So they are sold separately, which is the case, I think, for River Island and a lot of other shops, which honestly is fab. I think it's a great idea because I think when you get swimwear separately, if you are someone who is like different sizes on top and bottom, you can really easily switch out the sizes. And I personally find sometimes I like the bottoms to be a bit looser, so I'd rather size up and the tops obviously fit me fine. But I was chatting to my sister the other day and we were saying how she's got like a bigger boob than me and she prefers to go up a size on the top, whereas obviously I just wouldn't do that. Um, but anyway, this is the bikini. So it's a really gorgeous style, which is like a little kind of cropped top style top and the high-waisted bottoms, which I think just look really luxe because they've got the little button detailing. Um, these are a size eight, but I'm a bit worried they're gonna be a bit tight. We'll see when I try them on. If I don't show you in the cutaway, it's because they don't fit me, they're a bit too tight. But if I do show you, then they fit. 
Um, they are a bit of like a wide bum one and obviously higher waisted so they're a great style and I just oh, I love high waisted. It's the kind of thing that I could imagine wearing in like a fancy resort or like on a like yacht or something in the Caribbean. <laughs> but this one is £16 for the bottom which is super affordable and it's like a kind of neoprene style so they're quite thick and definitely going to be long wearing because you know sometimes when you get bikini bottoms and they're that normal fabric and after you've worn it on one holiday they go a bit like they, they kind of like lose their elasticity a bit and I find bikinis like this just keep their style and shape really easily um, and then the top looks a little bit like this this is a really cute style because it's got the kind of tie up bikini style at the front and obviously you've got the low back as well but I love the fact it's got these cute little sleeves because this is like a perfect example of you could wear it as a top with some like really nice floaty trousers or something wear the bikini bottoms underneath and you've kind of got an outfit as well as a bikini and you don't feel like you're just wearing like a bikini and denim shorts or anything so i really liked this i thought it was really adorable and they actually had another style of this it was like ever so slightly different so it was like a black and um yellow print and then the bottoms were white with the yellow print with a black tie and it tied up and it was really cute but they didn't have my size and the top is 28 which i think is justifiable because it is technically a top as well and obviously it's a lot more kind of of a top but i really like it and i think swimwear is so important at the moment for me because i don't really have swimwear that i love and that fits me nicely so i'm on the hunt for like the perfect core collection of swimwear that I can keep like for a long period of time and not have to keep reinvesting. I've seen a lot of people talk about this recently and how as you grow up you kind of want the capsule pieces in your wardrobe that last you a really long time and then you kind of flit in and out with the trends every now and then but the actual base is a really good capsule so that's kind of what I'm trying to do at the moment with a lot of my pieces and my swimwear and stuff because I think things like swimwear get neglected really easily but if you're already using it once a year, you don't like have to keep rebuying it. You just want stuff that is going to be timeless and you can just keep coming back to it and you don't have to keep rethinking about buying swimwear. Anyway, that is the end of the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to let me know in the comments if you have any styling videos you want to see or any other just general video types that you want to see. As a quick disclaimer as well, I am sharing all of my haul purchases on my stories before I get the stuff so for my top shop one i did recently and my h&m order that i did recently i've actually done like a pre-stories because i know that a lot of things are selling out really quickly at the moment with lockdown and i'm trying to film hauls and get them up as quick as i can but i do share them like instantly on my stories and i think that's a really great way to find a lot of what i'm up to so definitely head over and check out my instagram account um but i hope you're all doing well and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>